If you've been following the channel for a while, you probably know that I've made several videos regarding MIPSTREAMING in the past, and they've slowly been getting worse. And I hate to say it, but I am continuing that trend this wipe. If you didn't see those previous videos, I'll explain what MIPSTREAMING is very simply so you can get an idea. It uses your CPU to stream textures directly from your drive to your VRAM buffer and vice versa to supposedly quote unquote improve your VRAM usage. And if you are maxing out on your VRAM, then improve your performance as you'll be getting less stutters as you're not overflowing from your VRAM. The streaming in and out of these textures is supposedly determined based on your camera position, your camera orientation, and how far objects are away from your camera. Here's the main issue with that. I don't think I need to say anything more. These types of textures can stay on your screen for a significant amount of time. And I'm not talking about seconds. I'm talking about they can stay there for minutes and just not update some of these lower quality textures, which in turn just lowers your graphics quality for what I've measured so far is little benefit. I can only get this behavior in online mode. So I'm gonna go in offline mode real quick and show you guys what it should be doing when you are in online raids. All right, so now you can see that we're on streets and you might remember this from my last uh, MIP streaming video is these signs are just a really good way for you to see the effects of it. So right now you can see this is at a pretty decent resolution, how it should be, right? As far as my medium texture quality is concerned. But if I go to the sign on the other side, it's in a lower resolution until it loads in the texture. This is how it should behave because right now the other side of the sign is occluded, meaning it can swap in a lower quality texture in its place to improve the amount of VRAM usage. This applies to more things than just these boards, obviously, but this gives you a general idea of how this works. You may notice that it's a little bit slow in its transition, however, so if you want to improve that, you can use the two settings that are inside of the settings panel to control that. So if I go in there now, go down to the bottom here, once I have MIP streaming checked, of course, you'll see two options here, which are MIP streaming buffer size and MIP streaming disk usage limit. I'm almost certain that this setting here affects the speed of textures being streamed out of your drive and that this is in a megabyte uh, unit. So for example, this is 256 megabits per second. And then if I turn this up, it'd be 512, 768, and then a gigabyte per second. If you have a SATA SSD, you should not be able to go past 512. So I would not recommend going past that number. But if you have an M.2 NVMe SSD that's recent, that's PCI 3.0 or up, you should have no problem hitting the speeds up here to the max. If you do notice any stability issues with this, however, you can feel free to set this to lower numbers and see what works best for you. If I ever run MIP streaming, I tend to do it with the fastest setting for disk usage limit applied. MIP streaming buffer size, however, is still a bit misty for me. I'm not quite sure what this is referring to when it says RAM, as this is using the drive. So I'm assuming it's talking about virtual memory, aka the paging file inside of your drive, but I'm Honestly, not too sure. If anyone knows what this is exactly referring to, please do let me know in the comments below as I've been trying to figure this out and it's, uh, I haven't been able to find any resources on it, so I'd appreciate that. But still with this as well, the higher you set this, the more, wow, the more quicker. That's brilliant. The quicker you'll get textures to swap in. So setting these both to their maximum possible sizes here, I'm gonna save again. I'm gonna go back in game and let's see the transitions when I go back and forth between these signs again. These might still be loaded in, so let's go to a different sign. Let's go down the road here. Oh, that was actually really quick. We actually saw it there. Let's go down the road here and look at this uh, subway sign down here. Not bad. It's likely under YouTube compression that's also harder to spot, but it is definitely quicker. And though this isn't that much, it'll help reduce the amount of times you see textures popping in. But if you remember the images from the beginning of the video, it's uh, it's not too good. It's not too good. As you can see, online has a lot of issues with streaming this incorrectly. I don't know what the exact difference is, and it's hard to tell what exactly the cause of this is, but textures take a lot longer to stream in depending on what they are and most textures tend to stay at lower quality resolutions than you'll even get low you'd think this might be a good thing but the testing that i did with just running it one rate off one rate on and one rate at the lowest settings doesn't it, it doesn't show any meaningful difference and if i extrapolate this over a longer period of time it wouldn't show a massive difference in VRAM usage. See, if you watched a video that I did a while ago discussing the difference between allocation and actual usage, you might have a theory as to why this isn't working correctly. My current theory is that if I type FPS3 into the console, 
you can see that my VRAM budget is pretty much 90% of my VRAM total. My original theory is that this VRAM budget being so high might trick the game into thinking that there's more VRAM that's being used and then it streams out textures and doesn't quite know what to do because of all of the allocation that's currently going on. However, uh, the keen among you might notice that that theory doesn't really hold up in offline. As you can see, my VRAM usage up in the top left is pretty close to max and textures are still streaming in as they should be. It's hard to figure out what exactly the cause of this is as I, I'm not I'm not in the game code. Frankly, I, I, I'm not working on the game, so it's hard for me to figure out what exactly is going on here. But it seems like MIP streaming isn't really doing everything it's intended to be. And that's definitely true on streets. I've ran it on some other maps while I was, say, streaming. And though that's not perfect evidence to explain what's going on, it still kind of helps you determine what the issue is. As there were still issues with my hands becoming literal Play-Doh and everything that was close to me still being rendered at obscenely low texture quality with virtually no benefit. And see, the worst thing is it doesn't even help if you are CPU bound. Because if you're CPU bound and still running into a VRAM bottleneck, it's simply gonna lower your FPS because it needs the CPU in order to conduct some of this swapping around of textures. It's the same conclusion that I came to a uh, wipe ago with my last MIP streaming video. I simply can't recommend people run this setting as it just makes everything too blurry. You get flickering in and out of textures depending on where you are. And it's just, it, it just doesn't seem beneficial. If you've had any positive experience with MIP streaming, please do let me know in the comments or if you've had negative ones too, do let me know. And I, I tried my best with this, but I really couldn't see any benefit to using MIP streaming, at least in its current iteration. But with that out of the way, I hope you guys just enjoyed this quick explanation. I tried to make it a bit quicker than it was last time, and I also spent way too much time handling issues with the servers, loading in on scav raids and that sort of thing, and it was honestly a mess trying to get data for this video and to get it to record properly. But we're good, and we're there. And so I appreciate all of you with the support. I can't believe we're at 4,500 subs. It's kind of, it's getting a little, getting a little, getting a little real right now. But um, yeah, I'll be streaming. When will I be streaming? Let's find out. If all goes well, I should be streaming the night this video goes live. And if it doesn't go well, I'll be streaming the day after it goes live. I stream every Friday at 6.30 p.m. CST as well. But this Friday I'll be out. So expect that stream either a little bit earlier or on Saturday. I'll make a post about it as well so you guys know. But yeah, uh, with that out of the way, I am going to get out of here and start rendering the video because uh, we need to get to work. <laughs> but yeah, for now, this is Clem clocking out. Later.